The only thing left to do now is add, replace these colors with textures. So let's go back into, well, we've already got it open. Let me open up the Hypershade back up just in case we lose this over here in the attribute editor. Okay, these three colors. Now to bring those back up, I can just create or click on this layer right here, this material layer, and just click on that in and out button up here at the top, the input output connections, and it puts everything back into our work area. All right, we can click on our layer texture or double click to bring up the attributes for it. What we're going to do is we replace the alpha with our maps. Now we're going to replace the color with our texture files. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this first layer, which is our snow layer, where it says color to the far right, that button. I'm going to click on, and we can do it two ways. We can either click on that button, or we can click on over here, we can click on the uh, file underneath 2D textures. We can click on file, and then we can plug our file into the color. But usually it's just easier it's over here in the attribute editor just to select the layer and then click on the button to the far right of the color. Click on the button and there is our file. We can click on the file button. Now over here in texture area you'll see image name in the attribute editor. The far right click on the button with the folder and that's going to allow us to navigate to our textures. So this is our snow. I'm going to go to my desktop, select my snow texture, click open, and now it applies our snow texture. Now if you look in our view panel, you see snow everywhere. That's kind of misleading. Uh, just ignore that. We're on our snow layer, so everything is, looks like snow. But if we were to render it out, let's go ahead and do a render. You'll see that our snow color is replaced by our snow texture now. All right, let me close this out. Open up our, and you'll see now that we have our texture is attached to our layer. Okay, so we did the snow. I'm going to select the grass layer down here where the color is, far right. I'm going to click on the button. In this dialog box, I'm going to click on the file button so we can choose a file. Where the image name is, I'm going to click on the button to the far right with the folder so that we can navigate to our desktop and pick our grass texture. Click open. Now if we do a render, you'll see we have grass and snow. The only thing left to do now is our bottom layer, which is the rock layer. Close that back out. Let's go back to our, just double click, our layer texture node. Click on our ground layer. Go down to where it says color, far right, click on the button click on file, click on the folder, navigate to our rock texture, open, and now let's do a render. And there is our textured ground plane. So it seemed like a lot, but it's really not that complicated once you do it a few times. It just really makes sense. So all we're doing is we're creating a black and white image to use as a alpha map for our snow, another one for our grass, and then the ground, we don't really need one. So next thing we do is we, since we're painting them black instead of white, then we're using the reverse node to reverse the colors, adding a luminous node to change it to grayscale, and then at that point we're just attaching those black and white uh, luminance nodes to our alpha channel of our layers for our layer textures. Now, I hope that wasn't too confusing. I'll probably end up redoing this tutorial eventually to try to uh, simplify it some, but at least this uh, should help you all out in the meantime. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.